<laughs> that was the reaction of the cast and crew of Revere High School's production of In the Heights after receiving a video message from the show's creator, Lynn manuel Miranda. Probably heard of that guy. Uh, this is the school's first musical in more than three decades. And when school staff members put in a big T-shirt order with the show's logo, Miranda found out about the production and sent his well wishes. Lights up for Washington Heights, a bit to break a day. I wake up and I got this little punk I gotta chase away. Pop the grade of the crack of dawn, sing while I wipe down the awning. Hey, Revere, good morning. Break a leg, which I'm yelled at on your show. Congratulations. Remember to be a community every second you're on that stage. Mwah. Well, that message of community is already sinking in and giving the students uh, the time to take their turn in the spotlight. When I found out that they were like doing a musical and it was in the Heights, I was like, yes, I have to do this. In a school where about 70% of the student body is Hispanic, director Christina Manissian thinks the Tony Award-winning musical about an immigrant community in Washington Heights is the perfect showcase. Seeing themselves represented on stage was, I thought, I think, the way that is going to be palatable to kids doing theater here. While the theater program may be new, the students are already dedicated. We have 50 kids involved, and they've been involved since November, so the commitment is there. Some of the students had theater experience in middle school. I'll be downtown. But others had never been on stage. Some of them have never even sung before. Musical director Jonathan Pluff told me months of rehearsal have really paid off. Seeing that growth from kind of timid and, and shy and nervous, can I sing this, should I sing this, to then now being on stage in costume with their microphones in their lights and their set and they're just nailing it. Oh no, there goes Mr. Braggadocio, next thing you know you vile like Pinocchio. This is so great. One of the teachers suggested each of the students bring in something from their own culture to put on the shelves in the bodega. I would say the diversity. The diversity of Revere is really what makes it, the school is really special. Working together for months has helped the cast build confidence, and that's something Kelly Williams, the district's director of fine arts, can see. I think it's going to be life-changing for a lot of them. I think it's way more than just the being on stage. It's all of the other things that I hope they walk away with. Yeah. You've made a lot of friends. Yes, I've made a lot of friends, and we shared a lot of memories together, and it's so fun. It's home working with these people. They've slowly become my second family. They're my home. After being part of this musical, I, I feel more like myself, like out there, like very confident. You found your people. Yes. Oh, they're so great. Every part of this production is inclusive, Chris. Mm -hmm. Even the playbill featuring an introduction in four different languages. You can see it for yourself. It's Wednesday and Thursday at Revere High School. I love these kids finding themselves, yeah. finding their voices, confidence in their community. They're having a blast. Yeah. It was great. And great of Lin-Manuel Miranda to do that. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. We